All right. You're looking for that special someone? Thinking about living in Costa Rica, but you don't want to live there alone and you'd like to find some love. Hopefully you're not looking in all the wrong places. I'm going to tell you where to look. Uh, I'm going to get into it in a minute. Guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. I first want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes and making me feel better about my Alzheimer's. <laughs> that was nice. A lot of nice comments of uh, support and advice and feedback and, and m- maybe normalizing my uh, craziness a little bit. So I appreciate that. Um, real quick, guys, a relocation retreat coming up again. You know, we, the, the one coming up is sold out. We're already selling the next one. The reason I'm not saying the date is because I want this video always to be good because there's always going to be new dates, you know, uh, for you. And if you're thinking it's, uh, you'd like to live here, it's on your radar, but you're not quite sure, all that information is in a link in the description below. I would love to see you there. I can tell you they're filling up now, man. They're filling up. They're getting popular. They're getting popular. I would love to see you there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to see videos as uh, we put them up, hit the notification bell. And if you want to donate, give me a nice coffee cup. You go to TravelCostaRicaNow.com and hit the donate button. All right. So, you know, you don't have to marry a hooker. <laughs> I don't know wh- how that, well, I, I know how it got started down here. You know, prostitution is legal here. You know, they don't like to talk about it, but it is legal. And for some reason, guys think that, <laughs> I don't know, they're not thinking. It's actually one of my Ten Commandments. I made a video a long time ago. You know, working girls, they know what they're doing. And they do kind of help you maybe live in this fantasy world of thinking that you are hot when you're not. You know you're not. You know you have money. You have money. You probably got not much else. Maybe so. hopefully some personality. But sometimes you're older. Sometimes you're my age or older. Maybe you haven't really kept up. Uh, your your health, or maybe you're you know you're not the best uh, looking guy around, and you want to come down here. And what do you do? For some reason, you go to the brothels looking for love. Pretty woman is a movie. <laughs> you are not Richard Gere, and the girl is not Julia Roberts. All right, so here's what happens. I I try to I I know more than anecdotal stories. I know a lot of stories. I know a lot of guys that have done this, and it goes. South. It goes south. And I'll tell you why it goes south. One is come on, man. If you got some money, they don't have that kind of money. So they are going to, they do, you know, you can't blame them for latching on you. But why do you think they're latching on you? Because you're just so charismatic and good looking. No, it's your money. And if you are nice, I guess that's extra. But guess what? The women know their rights down here. The women know their rights down here. And most of those relationships uh, with, like, let's say a working girl, I'm not, I'm not bagging on working girls, by the way. People got to make money, and I get it. I'm not throwing stones at any of that. But you coming down here and marrying one probably isn't the best idea. Almost every story I know, and there's a lot of them in 18 years, have gone south. Now, I'm going to tell you the ones that don't go south in a minute, but those usually go south. And guess what? The women have a lot of rights down here. They will own your house. They will own your house. And I just can't tell you, man, the stories are kind of sad, actually. So let's rethink that. For one, there's prenups down here. You can do a prenup. And for the other thing, if you really feel like you've got to marry a hooker, or not married, but why don't you just give her, get her a little apartment, have her bills under her name, because the common law thing is it can be can happen to you down here too. So you don't want to get common lawed into a marriage that you didn't know, that was, <laughs> common lawed into some legalities that you didn't know about. I'm just saying it's a it's a terrible story because a lot of guys are coming down here with their you know their money that they saved up through life or whatever, social security, and they bought a house and maybe they start a little business. And man, that woman's going to own it, dude. I'm telling you. Do you think the judge, do you think the judge is going to side with you, gringo boy? No. Okay. So now <clears throat> the thing is down here, it still is a kind of machismo type of country. Now, maybe not quite as bad as some other Central American countries, but the guys are, 
Guys are guys here. Women are women. Women have rights here, but it's still a, it's still a man's world down here. Like if you went to a big business, you're not going to see very many women in the top echelons of business. You're not. The ones that are successful down here start their own stuff. Strong women. There's a lot of those. I know a lot of them. So they're usually doing their own thing, though. But it's still a kind of a man's world. But they, they, do, they still believe in the traditional kind of marriage. <laughs> they know there's only two genders. <laughs> Sorry. So, you know, they, they like tradition. So if you feel like you, or if you are looking for a, a love, you know, A, don't start at the brothels, don't start at the clubs, and don't start at the bars. And I would say stay off the apps. There's all the apps down here, all the hookup apps, all the dating apps. There's swinger apps, gay apps, all kinds of apps. If you want to hook up and do it that way, that's fine. But don't look for love there. Don't look for love there. Now, I don't know if you guys all follow along, but I've done a few videos with our, our good friend Matt, who's right now in Alaska. He got married down here to Atika. And, you know, here's, what he, here's how he found her. He just started going to a place where uh, he's a writer. So he would take his computer and he went to this chicken restaurant and he would sit there and he'd order his Coke uh, and drink Cokes all day. He'd be there hours. And she worked there. And she's a great girl. You know, she's not clubbing. She's got kids, but she's, you know, she's traditional. She's good looking, but she's looking, you know, and they match up. Because she's looking for a man and he was looking for this. But now you don't have this baggage of, you know, the working girl thing. And you're going to get more loyalty. You're going to get more love. You're going to be supported. You know, I don't know what makes you think that that 27-year-old freaking likes you. She's hot, but you're not. You're not. You're 70. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, going, you're going south. And you think these, I don't know, it just freaks me out. now. Uh, it is true that a lot of women down here are looking for gringos because they assume that they do have a little bit of money. And then what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, that they want to feel, you know, supported and, and, you know, don't have to worry about money. So that's always going to, that's, that's nature, right? I mean, everyone, you know, everyone's kind of like that, but you're going to get a lot more with the kind of girl that Matt uh, found in the uh, chicken restaurant. Then you are at the Del Rey. You know, it's just, you know, you got a whole nother breed of women, you know, woman. And then if you're, you know, in the chicken restaurant, it's going to be traditional. She's traditional, man. She wants us to have a family. She wants to eat dinner at night with you, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's going to be a different thing. Now, you got to remember when you marry, if you do marry a, a woman down here, you're marrying the family. You realize that, right? And if there's, and whether there's kids from along, you know, there's kids or there's, you know, mothers and fathers and grandmothers, you're marrying all those people and you might find that your obligation might be a little bit more than you expected because uh, their families are close here. They might be, they might be living with you. They might be living with you. So I don't know, you know, there's, Okay, Michael, you know, if you, they're not in the bars and the restaurants and the clubs, where are they? Well, the good, the good women are, you know, at home at 5 o'clock. So you're going to meet them at the grocery stores or at the restaurant like Matt did or at church or at the park or places that are, you know, community, more community-based because the women that are, you know, traditional women aren't out at 12 at night. I'm sorry. I know that's... Again, not throwing stones. I'm out at 12 at night. Okay, I get it. But, you know, if you're looking for a woman, you really want one, you know, that's, you know, your pay grade, you know, you're going to find them in those places because they're not hard. And you know what? I, I mean, no disrespect. It doesn't matter how out of shape you are, how fat you are, how ugly you think you are, or whatever it is. They don't care necessarily. They do not care about that. What they're looking for is, you know, somebody that's established, supportive loyal, loving, giving, and all that. So you can be nasty looking and you're still going to be fine. You're still going to find somebody. Now, in the opposite direction, so the, the, gray, or the white women, sorry, the gringas that come here, they also, uh, they get married to Ticos, you know, the locals down here. And I got to tell you, I'm just saying this because it's just what I've seen in the 18 years. Usually the, 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 the lady from the United States or wherever um, comes down here and she's usually marries 
just a little bit below her pay grade. I'm not saying that's bad. Uh, they, but the, usually the woman's a little bit more established, uh, got, kind of got the money maybe or the, the vision or you know working hard or something. And not that the guy's lazy or any of that. I'm just saying the woman usually is just a little bit above. You know, just a little bit got her sh- got her shit together a little better. So it can happen with the you know with the Gringo women too coming down here. They can find love. I would just caution: uh, a vacation is not living here. And just because you're going out, you know, you went out rafting and that guide was so cute, it's kind of like the guy going to the brothel. When the when some of the younger women, like let's say 35 or whatever, they go rafting and they these guides are that's what they do is hook up. So it's kind of the opposite can also be true. So be careful. There's a difference between, you know, one night stand and having fun on a vacation than, you know, a, a romance brewing. OK. So I don't know. I, do, I, I wanted to make this video because I've always kind of said that, you know, it always seemed to be the uh, working girls that the guys, let, let's say my age, were, were drawn to or marrying. And, it, and, it, it, and people would kind of get on me. Mike, no, I, I married a nice girl down here. We've been married 10 years. I've been married 15 years. I would be hard. I, I, I would assume maybe one out of 50 of those people writing me married a hooker, you know, and it all worked out. Maybe it was pretty woman, but I can tell you not normally. They probably found a girl kind of like what Matt did, whether it was church or some you know, uh, in the park or at the grocery store or maybe at a restaurant or whatever. But uh, I would say it's probably not it's probably not a hooker. And if it is, again, that would be the exception to the rule. So if you want to come down to Costa Rica and you think you're going to be lonely and you're looking for that, you can easily get it as a outsider because obviously they're looking at that. And, you know, again, they think you got the money. And so what? So what? Um, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'd love to hear you guys' comments and feedback on this from people that have ma- are married down here. You know, tell me what I got right. Tell me where I went wrong. Tell me what I'm missing. Uh, it helps everybody else, you know, um, make better decisions down here because the guys down, the guys c- that come down here don't have the best track record of marriage. <laughs> I'm Michael Allen. TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Hey, guys, things are going to pop up. If you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere, especially Costa Rica, always do your homework and research. And if it is Costa Rica, my videos down.